So we have this pull request that adds a color keying node, and it was merged a few days ago. And that's one of the two things I need to switch from all of point 1 to all of point 2. The other is reliability fixes, because at the moment it crashes a lot. Anywho, let me quickly show you how it works. And first I'm going to load these two assets you've never seen before. Ever. And now something even more rare. Watch it out! We'll remove the sound clip, we don't need that, and with Coco selected we can go to the node editor. Oops! A small failure on selection. But anyway, we are on node editor and we now can add the color difference key. Add, keying, and color difference key. And if we place it between it will automatically make the connections. And meanwhile these node placeholders feel extremely smooth. Next we need to go to parameter settings, and on color keying we'll see the option for setting the color. That currently only has two hard-coded values and it doesn't allow us to select a custom color. I can only guess that will allow for custom values, or we would be able at least to link a color node to the keying node itself. But there isn't an option for color nodes so far, so we're going to work it out differently. For start we'll set that to blue, that helped a bit already. And next we're gonna play with the shadow's value. So setting a higher value it completely removed the blue, and if we move the original video we'll see the background is super clean without leftovers. So, that was everything for now! Oh! And one last thing is that we can keyframe every property. And meanwhile that's my second most favorite video editor. Because the very best one is the one on GTK4 and Rust, we don't have. And then it's the other matter too. GTK desperately needs application for Windows and Mac OS. That would be far greater contribution than just developing for Linux. If you can prove the toolkit can do cross-platform, we may see people doing pro apps like all of on GTK.